It is time now for another country girl report. Today we are talking about styling faux candles. And Catherine Nigren with Founded Flora joins us now with more. We always love Tuesdays because Catherine arrives <laughs> with her basket full of goodies here. And we love talking about candles. Actually, we were down in Texas this weekend seeing yeah, Jacob. Yeah. And I got another candle oh. surprise. <laughs> John was thrilled with that, but I do uh, love candles. It's a great time of year for candles. Yeah, especially when it gets dark early. It's just nice to have a little something glowing inside your house. Mm -hmm. So talk about what we're doing today. Yeah, so we've got, um, we love faux candles. We love real candles and scented candles, but we also love faux candles because you can kind of use them in places that you can't use a real candle in. Mm -hmm. And the technology now, they look so realistic, and so we really love them. Um, one of the things you can do, remember the um, candle holders that I brought a couple weeks ago, we put a pumpkin on top, oh, yeah, the ones right on here. the end. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can style them for fall in different ways. Um, if you've got stuff, you don't have to change out all your decor. You can do things like just tie a little festive fall plaid ribbon and it's changed out for fall. Switch it again, put a Christmas plaid on there and you're good for the next season. And the good thing about mm -hmm. um, battery candles too is they come with a remote. So if you've got them up on oh, a mantle, yeah. you can turn them on and off without mm -hmm. getting up there. You know, if you've got them in a high spot in your house, you don't have to always get to them to light them. Great, where can people get faux candles, Catherine? Sure, we have a whole line of them at the store. We have all sizes, we have ivory, we've got white, and we've got red. Perfect, yeah, it's just uh, finding what you want, what you need, that's perfect there. And I know some people don't wanna burn a candle because of the dangers with that. Mm -hmm. I know our son being in his campus apartment says he can't burn candles. Yeah. So he had like a candle warmer. Oh, yeah. Like a lamp. Mm -hmm. So you can get the scent that so way. So it kind of warmed up the wax and kind of had mm -hmm. the good smell without actually light lighting the wick. Yeah. Now these don't have a scent, do they? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> that's the only thing. No, no, no that's the bad part. Um, and another thing, if you don't have a traditional like pillar candle holder, mm -hmm. um, these are actually melt glass, like vintage melt glass turned upside down because one of the kind of fun things to styling candles is having them at the different heights. Mm -hmm. And so these are just vases, just like a good old thrift store, garage sale find. I think one of these still has a sticker on it from when we bought it. And it's just turned upside down and uh -huh. then the candle is set on the bottom there. Wow. So it kind of creates a pillar candle holder if you don't have, you know, a traditional pillar candle holder. I love that. If people want to go out and find milk glass, they can just go antiquing for that. Oh yeah. Thrifty. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. I have a few at home. I need to try this. <laughs> okay, what do you got right here? This is um, just a little pumpkin cloche. This would be like a little simple setup you could do like on the corner of your kitchen um, countertops. It's just like a little cutting board. This is just like a little cloche. Mm. Again, we can put the, the battery candle underneath so, so it doesn't get hot. Put a little cover on it, a little pumpkin, a little bit of moss, and you've got like a fun little fall accent without doing like a whole big display. Very fun. I love how you just make magic out of something <laughs> like this. It looks so great. And then let's turn to this. Yeah, so these are some antique pumpkins that I've got. Um, we grow pumpkins and so it was kind of a, a hunt to find the antique pumpkins but you can put oh. battery candles in um, they're just little luminaries with their paper mache you know oh, so, so of course cute. you can put a real candle in them and so that's another great spot you can put a battery candle if you've got some sort of antique or something that you want to protect um, mm -hmm. use the battery candles for that these are very very cute okay and then finally over here yeah finally um, you can do like little botanical luminaries um, these are just some dried bits you can go around your yard get some dried grasses um, some dried leaves and you can kind of just take a big glass hurricane tuck some dried around and then the the light kind of flickers through mm -hmm. the leaves and that's kind of a fun fall look that's safe to do with the battery candle. Again, great <laughs> ways to use faux candles so there's no danger and that still has that beautiful lighting for this time of year. Yeah, yeah, Love absolutely. It. Okay, so Catherine, you're open every day but Sunday? Yep, absolutely, Monday through Saturday, nine to five. Perfect, you'll find her in Wahoo. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.